welcome friends in today's lecture we learn about the basic difference between latent heat or sensible heat latent energy or sensible energy we cover the four major major or basic difference between them so before to start the video i have one small request to all of you if you are the new to my channel please subscribe the channel let so let's start with the basic definition so about uh, uh, latent heat or latent energy uh, latent heat is nothing but amount of heat release or absorb during the phase change so during the phase change uh, whatever energy absorbed or release is nothing but latent heat or latent energy uh, in case of uh, sensible heat or sensible energy uh, this is energy we, uh, which is uh, uh, required to gain or lose the temperature means uh, increase the temperature from one point to another point or decrease the temperature from one point to another point it is nothing but sensible heat another difference is nothing but phase change in case of uh, uh, latent heat uh, phase change is involved in case of sensible heat there is no phase change involved and apart from this another difference is temperature in case of uh, latent heat temperature never changes uh, only phase change and in case of uh, sensible heat temperature only change only temperature change phase never change so to calculate a latent energy we need formula a latent energy is equal to mass flow rate into latent heat of vaporization or condensation also to calculate sensible energy we need formula mass flow rate uh, sensible heat is equal to mass flow rate into specific heat into change uh, delta t